Now, uh, the uh, Civil Aviation Authority is undertaking, uh, you know, a, a program to, of course, implementing the a program to expand and upgrade Entebbe International Airport. And uh, that's a program that was, uh, I think, launched in uh, 2015. Uh, so in the studio with me right now is Vianne Mpunguluja, the public relations officer of the Civil Aviation Authority. Uh, you're welcome uh, to the pro on the program, uh, Via Vianney. Thank you very much. H how, is, how, do you, how, how is Kampala Air? I know you're from that side of the world where air is fresh. Yes, yes indeed. I'm, I'm enjoying the evening. You're getting Kampala. used to the, <laughs> to the air in Kampala. Yes. <laughs> okay. Mm. Well, so I need you to update us. Mm. Um, you know, the expansion and upgrade works are being undertaken by China Communications and Construction Company. Um, the, the issues that at hand of uh, quality compliance and uh, design specifications, whether uh, they have been sorted and you, you could also tell us how far we have gone. Yes, indeed. The project by China Communication Construction Company mm. involves uh, putting in place a new cargo center with capacity to cater for 100,000 tons a year. Mm. 359,000 tons last year. That project is ongoing. The earthworks were completed. As we speak, they are working on the access roads to the air side and to the land side of the current terminal building. Mm. And the works are at 26% level of completion. Besides the cargo center, mm. there are other works involved in there, including uh, work on expansion of the aircraft parking apron so that mm. we increase on the parking base where aircraft park. Once the cargo center is complete in October 2018, as soon as it is ready, we shall raise down the current cargo area that we use, mm -hmm. which is dilapidated, and in its place, the same contractor is going to put a completely new terminal building mm -hmm. that is connected to the current terminal, and the interface in front will be the same. What about the uh, arriving and, you know, departure capacity? I, I know the, since 1974, is it, mm -hmm. and then the improvements that have been going on you know since you know Chogam 2007 mm -hmm. uh, when we uh, elevated it to 410 I think and uh, 360 departures mm -hmm. what is the status now uh, apart from the, the cargo center yes indeed besides that there is another project that is internally funded mm -hmm. and it is being undertaken by Siani Brothers Uganda Limited to expand the departures terminal as you arrive at the airport right now as you face the terminal building, there was that roundabout that has now been partly eaten into by that project. We are putting in place a magnificent uh, structure that is going to increase our capacity, like you rightly stated, that currently after Chogam expansion, mm -hmm. we are comfortably handling at peak time 410 arriving and 360 mm -hmm. departing passengers. Mm -hmm. Once this project is completed, we should be able to comfortably cater for at least 930 and 820 respectively arrivals and departing passengers. Mm -hmm. Uh, oh, oh, so, so that's the target. The, uh, repeat for me the target again. Uh, um, which peak, numbers do you want to put? At peak hour, oh. we should be able to comfortably handle 930 arriving mm -hmm. and 820 departing passengers. 820 departing. As opposed to the current 14 okay. and 360. And uh, before I forget, there's someone watching right now who is mm -hmm. um, very interested in knowing uh, what plans you know, do you Because you talked of cargo. Does yes. that also include preparing for the green... Uh, area, green room for, for people who export fresh food. <laughs> Someone who's passionately wants to, to know this and I know is, is watching, is one of the exporters. Yes, indeed. The new cargo center is mm. actually largely catering for the exporters mm. of fresh produce and all the kind of things that we export out of the country and the imports that come in. That is the purpose that it's Including the area where they have to, you know, pack their trucks, yes, you know, the fix the, ref the, f uh, what air, the f refrigerated uh, trucks, etc. Yes, indeed. The new facility will have cold storage facilities mm. and all the amenities required in a modern facility of that kind. That's fantastic news uh, mm. for the exporters. They must yes. be having a smile on their faces. But there's been challenges, you know, slowing down the project. If any, mm. uh, we've heard of this and that. But I mean, I'd like to get it from you. What, yes. what is slowing down the project so far? Um, the project as we speak is moving smoothly. Of course, there are a few challenges here and there. We occasionally have had the uh, encroachers on our land disturbing us here and there, but that is being handled at another level. Um, the, uh, there is a clan there nearby on the land on which we are putting this project, the Mamba Kakoza. Mm -hmm. who are claiming certain things on the land, but that matter is in court mm -hmm. and we are optimistic that it will be resolved in our favor.
any other? Yes. Indeed. What about them? What happens to them? Uh, no, we have a land title to the land. That's, that a, legal, that's a legal issue. Yes, indeed, it okay. is, and it is in court. So, so, so. based on the certification by the International Civil Aviation Organization, uh, yes. how far have we gone? Yes, there are several certifications. One, mm. there is one that we got at the turn of the year mm. by the United Kingdom Accreditation Service. Uh, they certified in TV as ISO 9001-2008 compliant, mm. implying that we are doing very well in terms of quality management systems implementation. And that certification was not only for Entebbe Airport, mm. but also for Civil Aviation Authority. And for CA in particular, we became only the third aviation authority in Africa mm. after Ghana and Tanzania CA to get such okay. ISO certification. Uh, my producer is saying we're running out of time, but I, I just don't want to go without asking, uh, you know, some sort of accountability for Uganda. Yes. know that 9.5 million US dollar grant mm -hmm. from the Korean government, you know, to okay. automate the airport, you know, get mm -hmm. bulletins for mm -hmm. pilots, etc., etc. How? What is the update? Briefly, and yes. then we go. Uh, very briefly, Koika gave us a grant of US dollar 9.5 million. Mm -hmm and it is to help us get air traffic services message handling system mm -hmm. and a computerized maintenance management system. Mm -hmm. In brief, what this means with the computerized maintenance management, all systems will be connected in, by computer. In case there's any fault anywhere, like say runway lights going off, mm -hmm. someone can sit somewhere and by click of a mouse, you're able to detect where the fault is. Wow. And that's the kind of automation we are talking will about. Will the birds be safe after that? The birds, there is that small challenge of birds. We have a bird hazard unit helping us. But you know Entebbe is in a bird sanctuary. So that means migratory birds from across the globe converge in Entebbe. And that the big threat to aircraft on landing will take off. When it enters an engine, it can cause a lot of damage. But uh, one of the things we are doing that is scientific, that studies have been done, mm. you know birds are attracted to, when you keep the grass low near the runway, mm. there are those small snails and insects sure, that so they, they attract sure. to the one to Okay, keep. so that, that's well so sorted. So we keep it at you, a height you, of you 20 centimeters. Don't, don't shoot our birds. Don't, don't <laughs> kill them. We yes. like them. Vian Impungu Lujar yeah. from the Civil Aviation Authorities, uh, the uh, Public Relations Officer. Thank you very much for the updates, and we'll definitely come back to you for more. Now, uh, that's... Uh,